now at 8.37, and it is a big day for a certain member of our Today family. Kathy Lee's Scandalous, The Life and Trials of Amy Semple McPherson opens on Broadway tonight. Mm -hmm. Not Broadway out in Iowa. We're talking <laughs> yeah. Broadway yeah. here in New York City. Yeah. She wrote the book and lyrics for this new original musical, made every single costume that you're going to be seeing. <laughs> and who better to give us a behind-the-scenes look than her partner in crime, Hoda. Yeah, it is a terrific show. We are less than 10 hours away from Curtin, and I can tell you this has been a real labor of love for Kathy Lee, and I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but she has mentioned this show, her show, <laughs> on our show just a couple of times. A couple? couple? Uh-huh. We have a little show called Scandalous. Yeah, let's talk about Scandalous. Scandalous. Kathy Lee Gifford's musical is going to Broadway. It's just a yeah, baby. <laughs> Should we sing the song? Hooray for Hollywood. From Shirley Temple to Amy Semple. La, la, Everybody la, la, knows la. Shirley Temple, but they don't yes. know Amy Semple. But Kathy Lee's out to change all of that with Scandalous, a musical based on the life of evangelist Amy Semple McPherson. How would you describe her in a nutshell? She was a woman of um, history who has fallen through the cracks. She went on to become the most scandalous, controversial, yet celebrated woman of her day. Stop! You're drifting away from the faith of your fathers. Twelve years I've been actually physically writing it yeah. and trying to get it produced on Broadway. Everybody agrees that she was the best though, right? She was really, really strong, absolutely. Yeah. We've had four workshops, I think. What does it profit anyone? Two large out-of-town regional productions, well over 1,000 rewrites. It's all part of the process. And I was spreading it every chance I got. <laughs> or is it you and Emma Jo? <laughs> yeah, all right, we. You see, the word gospel means good news, and we were spreading it every chance we got. Carolee Carmelo, in my mind, yeah. is the finest working actress in the musical yeah. theater. There is not another actress that I can think of that could play Amy the way Carolee does. This is Amy's home away from home. It is the Neil Simon Theater right here on Broadway. This is such an exciting time. The cast, the crew, the creative team, they've all been working around the clock to get this baby ready for opening night. Are they ready? Come on, let's go backstage and find out. We're about half hour from the curtain. Wait, stage time? We're up here. You are center stage. Okay, this one this is This is the Neil Simon Theater. Uh, Would you like me to introduce you to some of the folks? All right, take me what back. What goes into it? This way first. Of course. We heard a rumor that the hottie with the body. The hottie with the body. And hot, hot Watts <laughs> is in here. One of the highlights for many of the women. You get to see something that's <laughs> happening beneath this row. What could, what it, could be? it be? He plays Adam. Wait. From I'm Adam and Eve. Not, I've lost nice to a talking woman. To you. Goodbye. Love you, Ed. Have a good show. Oh, oh, are you talking? <laughs> Hope he makes it for curtain. Opening night's knocking on the door. Are you ready? I'm ready. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta, gotta do. Girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. Uh, you know. I wrote hey. a song about that. <laughs> oh, I already did. <laughs> yeah, sing a little of it. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Till a girl don't gotta do it no more. How does it feel oh being this close to opening, Carol? Carol I'm scared to death. <laughs> oh. Carmel, my lovely uh, wig master here, is prepping my hair to be put under two wig caps. And here are my microphones, which live on the back they of go my in head. Too, in case one goes out, the that's other one's, right. Yeah. It's a backup because I never leave the stage. Really, right. you've been on this project since the in, since its infancy. Yeah, the early forties. <laughs> Can it's you believe once, it? Yeah. You know. We're, it's like it, opening night on Broadway. Oh, oh, you know what, Holy bleep! <laughs> she doesn't know what to kiss me or curse me. <laughs> you are going to sit there in the audience and watch that curtain go up on opening night. What will that be like? I think that's when it's finally going to hit me. It's my child, and I had um, a lot of help birthing it, mm -hmm. and I hope it'll live forever mm -hmm. and touch people's hearts. Thank you.
thanks to Meredith that? Reese for that lovely, that lovely piece. Brought and thank you, Holden. We're excited. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. I know. Yeah, we, got all all we got our tickets. I am so grateful for mm. uh, the support around here has been unbelievable. It, um, that's, I think, what I re always remember the most is, mm. that, is that you guys oh. just, just right there for me and supporting me and understanding what a passion Speaking this has been that, for me. Look, look we what's have happening. Oh, Jerry. As if you don't Jerry. have enough to do. Right <laughs> <laughs> She's supposed to be, be getting some wine ready for the 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, Kat. And I, sh I thought for sure that witch from Philadelphia is going to win. <laughs> You guys, I love you, and I thank you, and we'll see you tonight. Break your leg. Thank you. Thank you. I'll break two chubby ones. <laughs> Coming up next, Jane Polly on rewriting your life after 50. But first, this is today on NBC.